Alright guys, I have some serious news to share on the channel. I'm not even gonna do an introduction because how important this is for Ghost of Tabor. So, we set a little bit of a challenge with the developers of the game. If we can manage to hit 1,000 likes on this video, for the next wipe, they'll be adding a comically large golden spoon into the game. And as you guys have known, the spoons have been our most important subjects for collecting here within Ghost of Tabor. So please, if any of you guys out there want to see a golden trophy weapon, just like this golden AK, except it being a golden spoon, this video needs to hit 1,000 likes. Literally, I was talking with Scott within DMs, and he set the limit to 1,000. I think we could easily crush that goal, man. And honestly, who wouldn't want to have a golden trophy spoon to be able to have it within their armory and also use it as a melee weapon within the game? So guys, I'm begging you. If we could get this video to 1,000 likes, this would be insane to see. Like, honestly, just to be able to have a golden spoon in the game would be so freaking sick. But with that set aside, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is your boy, Awakened Toast here, and today, welcome back to some more Ghost of the Boar here on the channel. And today, I kind of wanted to go and adventure around and use some other types of weapons. Because as a lot of you guys have been seeing in these recent episodes, we've been going over to the Tabor market and buying some new weapons, trying out a brand new LMG. We even had a PPSH. We've just been trying as many new weapons as we possibly can. And I feel like for this video, one that would be really, really fun to go and use could be the PP Bison. Because I feel like we've collected so many PP Bisons like over our time, but we've never really had the chance to go and make this our main raid weapon when we're going in. And I feel like this would be a really good like iron sighting weapon, even if we were to go and collapse the stock, I'm pretty sure recoil wise, we'll be able to shoot this one handed like no problem. The only question is, how many mags can we actually take into these fights? And if these ones are actually full, we actually might be able to use these. Sweet. We we already have two full mags, which is great. We can save a little bit of money that way. I do want to go and grab a backpack because I do not have an extra one. So let's go and throw that on. I do also need some armor because that would be incredibly helpful. I guess while we're at it, let's go and grab this. Throw that in. Perfect. And we will also chuck this on a vest. But... Do we want to just go and take in a regular vest? I feel like this would work just fine for this. So we'll go and take in a basic vest. we got a PP Bison here. And I do want to go back to the Tabor Market and possibly get some more magazines bots. Because I don't think that would be a bad idea for what we're planning on doing today. So I am going to go and open this bad boy up. And let's go and check this out. Because we definitely need some more ammunition for our good old PP Bison. Because that thing's going to be an absolute monster when it comes down to shredding people within Missile Silo. I am so excited for this. So let's go over to Magazine. We will go to SMG, and I assume it should be on the second to last, right? Okay, here we go. The Bison Magazine. Perfect, we'll go and scan that bad boy up. And also, we should probably go and buy one or buy a few extra ones just in case, because I assume we're not going to be able to do this completely flawless. I assume we might have some good games, but we're not going to be able to have this, like, perfect. I, I guarantee it. PP Bison for 18 thousand dude that's double the amount of what i'm usually paying for for my vector oh my god for my vector i'm literally paying double for the pp bison so let's go and throw a bunch of mags on and then we got one pp bison and we should be good to go i will save those to my favorites just in case we need to go and buy them later on and we should be good to rock and roll skis man I am so excited for this. Honestly, I haven't even had a chance to go and use this in-game. I maybe picked it up like once or twice, but that's about it. So Bison Magazine, that is a water bottle. Definitely not what I need. We'll throw that back on there. And PP Bison, uh, Bison Magazine. Okay, so I think we'll probably just bring in four mags. We got one in the gun. We got three in the pouches, none in the backpack. That's going to be probably our best loadout. And then just in case, I better go and grab some of these heals too, just because you never know what could possibly happen in some of these fights. And having this early on, and especially like early game, is going to be vital for our survival, especially if we're going to be versing like a lot of AI. But before we just go and dive straight into this, I do want to check our trader progress and see how we're doing on Minty. Because right now we are at 99,900 out of 175k for reputation on Minty. And then as for our quest, all we have to really do is some participation ones for completing five raids. We got 10 players and seven lives, which I guess we've already started. I don't know what I already started that with or how I even got that started, but I guess we already did. We got kill 15 Fennecs and three raids, and then we got kill 12 Fennecs and five players and three raids. 
I'm almost tempted to go and restart this because I don't know how many times I've like died during this quest, but in the same way, maybe we can do something. But without further ado, let's go and start this bad boy up and let's get ready to go and use this beautiful PP Bizion here within Ghost of Tabor. I am so excited, bro. Literally, I mean, we, we already had a PP, uh, PPSH gameplay. We did some stoner gameplay. And now today, we're going to be diving right back into the SMG lineup and getting our hands on with the Bizon action. Okay, let's go and collapse the stock because I actually want to go and use this as a single-handed weapon, not two-handed. And I'm going to just hopefully run into some of these fights and pray to God that we don't get beasted off the start. There we go. Oh my gosh, dude. Running around with a freaking peepee -pee bison one-handed. This is going to be pretty freaking crazy, dude. Especially a missile silos. This is going to be like perfect for what we're trying to do. Ooh, we got someone laughing. EDC cannot be matched. Ooh, copper wire. Whatever this is. This. Basically, just in the other room. Yes, <gasps> Woo! I'm sorry. You have to die. I need all the player kills I can get. Oh my god. Not good, not good. Oh my god. He had his hands up, but I'm sorry, man. I'm not willing to work together on this one. You found the wire spool, and I wanted it. It was mine. He also got a knife in there, too. What the heck? These guys dropped. Ooh. These guys dropped all sorts of mags over here too. We got a Glock, it looked like. Got another AI on the other side. I gotta assume that other people heard this fight though. And they're probably gonna be coming to peek this. So we got two players down. They didn't have much loot on them, thank the lord. So we can actually focus on hopefully getting into some other player engagements and not really worrying about more of the uh and trying our best just to get ahead on this raid, bro. Oh, there's a guy there. I already saw him. Shoot, dude. I'm gonna cut across. Let's hope he doesn't see me. Maybe he'll run and do the squeaky strat and try to come and peek this. Because he knows I'm here. He saw me. Right? I don't know if this guy saw me. I kind of want to attempt it. Frick, bro. I really shouldn't be pushing this. Oh my god. Okay. Well, maybe it was just the AI? I could have swore I saw a player. Am I tripping? What the freak are you doing? Oh my gosh. These guys get all up in your grill. No joke. Let's go and check on the mag quick. Also pop some heals because we got a few shots popped on us. Not a ton, but we've got a few shots. And I also got to keep in mind in case we get ourselves into a little bit of a predicament as we're playing here. I thought I heard some more dudes running over here, but they might have been under us. Oh, nope, they're definitely road. here. Okay. Please ricochets, he don't kill me. Thank you. There's so many of these dudes. Oh my god. I'm out of ammo. I'm out of ammo. Oh, gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. Okay. One second. Let's... Okay, I guess I'm collapsing my stock again. <laughs> I don't know what the deal was with that. I guess we really just wanted to put our stock back up. That's great. Okay, well, we can go and steal this weapon, though. We'll throw you right in the backpack. Beautimus. We got another grip. Okay, that is something. Alrighty, tidies. And while we're here, this guy had... Looked like an SKS. I don't know what the other guy had. I'm going to assume a looty. Yeah. Man had another looty patootie. What the freak, dude? And we got another... Oh my gosh, bro. That's like a level 2 swap vest. That's amazing. I actually do want to keep that. So I'm going to keep that in mind for now. At least we can come back and go and check that out. We'll go and save this here. We'll grab this little gas gauge. Throw that on the bottom of the backpack. And we got some nails, maybe? Yeah, we got a pile of nails. Don't know what we'll use it for, but we'll take it. Because we might be able to save that for, like, a quest or something. I wouldn't mind that. So, two players down. I haven't heard any other fights really going on. It's been kind of, like, dead silent. But also, this looked looted. 
So, I don't know what the player did here. If he looted that box, why did he not loot the heals? Kind of confused me a little bit. Some people are freaking weirdos, man. I swear. We got some weirdos in Tabor. I just want to see if we can find those other players, though. Because I have been itching for some more of that combat. We could check bottom, but I think we'll be better off going to top. I kind of just want to listen up. See if we can potentially hear another fight that's going on. I don't assume anyone else is here, so I'm going to go and grab these mags for now. Put that on the backpack. Good stuff. Where'd that other mag fly? I just saw it. Where'd you go? We got some more looty mags, maybe? Yeah, I don't know where this other one went. Okay, I, I'm just going to leave it. <laughs> Unfortunately, I think we'll be better off just focusing on actually looting up what we can. Not looking for stuff that potentially flew out of the map. So, we're just going to go and run off and hopefully check out some other things here. Because maybe, if we're lucky, we might be able to find another skull, dude. Because that would be amazing. If we can find another skull... What do we add again? I want to say we have, like, four skulls now. Which is, like, amazing. <gasps> dude, you are joking. I was literally kidding about finding another skull. But the fact we have one... What a freaking spawn, dude. Like, what? you got to be kidding. And we got another grenade. Which, this one's an impact nade. So, we got to be a little bit more careful with this. So what? We just literally went up by like $27,000 considering the prices of each of these skulls. Those sound like players. Okay. Well, we are about to have some fun, boys. I can't tell if that was under or not. But that's very terrifying. I don't know if they ran to back spawn. That sounded like footsteps. Am I tripping? Definitely got someone walking on the grades. Nope. Don't see anyone there. We got more Glock sitting on the ground, which I'll come back for that later. I think I really just got to focus on these player engagements, if there is any more. Which actually, looks like someone traded the weapon here. So someone was here. There was like a drum mag weapon sitting here earlier. So I wonder if in this, they're in this other room. They easily could be. That, or they could be running to Squeaky. Wait a minute, what if they went for evac? I'm gonna check evac room. I hear so many footsteps, dude. Were they in this other room? Don't tell me. They could have easily been in there. It would have made sense for where they left their weapon. Okay, no one's there. I'm just gonna kind of try to wait around and see if maybe we could just like listen up. This wouldn't be a bad idea for now. I'm gonna try to play the quiet game and just see if we can maybe figure out where these guys are at. Because we still got 21 minutes. So yeah, I'm just gonna wait this out. You know what, screw it, bro. I think I'm gonna check anyway. Oh, what do we got in here? An AK-47? Okay, I am taking that over this any day, bro. You gotta be kidding me. AK-47? Of course, baby. Sign me up. What else do we got? Some cash. We got a pistol in here, too? Wait a minute. What was that? Is that lower? It's definitely lower. Okay, I'm running for it. I gotta check this out. See if we can get in this fight. How far down was he? I can't tell what floor he was on. He might have been in tunnels? No, he was definitely fighting this guy. So he must have ran back off? Shoot, dude. I have no clue. This is probably going to get me killed. Do something with it. Oh! Are you not dead? You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, so I assume I just walked right back into where that guy was just fighting. Okay, we still got a good amount of ammo. Let's see, where was this dude at? Because I heard him fighting over here. Unless he was on the other side where that other ladder is, but I assume he was here. Unless he was shooting from a different area, but I highly doubt it. Heard someone's footsteps. I think he's under. For sure he's under. 
He's loading up. He's got to be under, dude. Yep. I hear him walking on the ground. He's down below. Let's see if we get him with the bank shot. Nice! Did we get both of them with that bank shot nade? Oh, you're joking. Bruh. That grenade came in so handy. We got both of them. <laughs> oh, dude. That's nuts. There's no way we actually landed that, bro. I am so sorry. But we literally timed that nade so perfectly. Oh, his backpack wants to go zooming. Okay, you know what? Do your thing. Be gone, backpack. You're gonna cause more harm than help. So, oh wait, did you take my... It didn't take my PP Bison, did it? I'm pretty sure it did. No way. Dude, this man, his ghost, literally took advantage of that moment and stole my weapon away from me. I literally no longer have my PP Bison. How does that even happen? Okay, well, I'll take the stoner. Oh my god, okay, so he's got a stoner. He's got the grenades, a bunch of detachments. And I think... I'll just leave the other gun for now. Hopefully this is actually loaded. Okay, yes, dude. It's probably got, like... Dude, I just thought about this. This is probably that 150 drum mag that we needed. Oh, this is awesome. Okay, well, let's go and work our way out of this raid. I don't know where we're going to be able to evac, but we need to make our way out of here. So four of the players dead, literally by our hands. And then there's potentially one other dude, which is very unlikely. So I think for the moment, though, I am going to try and go and find an evac. Let's hope together there isn't any enemies over here and hope that this one actually works. Please and thank you. I just want to go. I want to go with the stuff that we have. I knew I heard someone down there, bro. <laughs> I still can't believe we got the double nade kill. Like, that must have a really big range if it actually works that way. Holy crap, dude. So we managed to get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven... 8, 9, 10 Fenix, and 4 Ghost Kills, bro. Or does that say 3? Did we only kill 3? I could have swore we killed 4. Am I tripping? Did we get the 1? Okay, actually, maybe it was 3. Maybe I'm tripping. <laughs> I guess we only killed 3 people. <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself, man. I'm getting ahead of myself. But guys, this is some really good freaking news. I mean, yes, we did lose an $18,000 PP Bison due to the ghost of that man. But we now have 150... Oh, gosh. Wait, no, it took all the ammo out. Oh, I forgot about that bug, dude. Every time that you actually go and evac with your mag in the weapon, it totally just empties the mag. That is so sad. Well, we lost the rounds in here, but we can always fill it up, which is super good. So we got 150 round drum mag for the stoner, so we're definitely going to keep that. The AK-47 seems to be okay, so as long as you're not holding it, you should be all right for the most part. But let's go and throw the AK-47 on the wall. There we go. <laughs> you just got to get the sweet spot. Okay, sweet. Well, we managed to pull out another freaking skull, which has got me super, super excited. Not to mention, we got an AK-47. We got the stoner with the 150, like, round drum mag. Dude, stuff is looking up right now. Like, what is going on, guys? This is amazing. Hopefully, that actually, like, stays on there. I don't know if it will. Okay, so this is actually my main backpack. I guess we'll save the Glock mags just because we got some extra ones. So, we might as well just go and throw this on the wall. I think these are full, right? Yes, I think they are. And then we got an extra weapon, too. Oh, my God. We actually got three weapons out of that raid. Nice. Granted, we did lose the PP Bison, which is still kind of a stinger. But, I mean, what what can you do, man? It was just glitched out. Um, let's go and throw these. Oh, my gosh. What is happening to my collection? I know for a fact I did not store them that way. What the freak? I had this all organized so well, and my stuff's going all wonky. But, God, talk about a grenade kill, though, guys. We got so lucky there. I don't think I've ever really used the nades within the game, like, actually and the best part about all of that is the fact that it helped us avoid that fight entirely dude like we literally got it done within a second just boom <laughs> those guys were gone that is so awesome okay let's go and throw this extra mag right on the side and then you i'm not sure if you're a g3 mag or not but i'm gonna save you i'll put you on the wall for now and then i think that's all that i have right i guess we can just go and take this backpack into our next fight but dude talk about a freaking way to start this off Ah, oh, such a good way to freaking get into the day, man. Only problem is, now we need to go and grab our extra PP Bison that I was expecting to only have to use if we ended up dying. But either way, we'll go and grab this guy here. Do we have an extra mag? This one's actually still full, so we can grab an extra Bison mag from this. 
but I do need to buy some more. So let's scroll all the way to the bottom and see if we can go in and grab another one. Oh, yes, sir. We got quite a few of these that we can get. We'll just buy a ton. So now we have six mags. So you're right in there. And then we just got to go and chuck you right inside of this. And I think that's all I really need for our next raid. I think we should be good to go. And also, let's go and check on our progress and make sure that we're doing good in here. So we got the 15 Fenix in three raids, which is awesome. Thank God we got that. And then we got kill five players in three raids, which we only need one more kill. That shouldn't be bad at all. We got the kill 12 Fenix all done. And then also, we just need to do one more raid in order to complete the, uh, the participation one, which is awesome. So let's go and turn that in. We'll also turn this one in. And we will go and reclaim those quests. Whoops, I am so used to going to Spectre. Uh, let's go and switch over to 12 Fenix and then 15 Fenix. Trade of progress. And let's check this out. We are at 105,000 out of 175k. We're going to be able to level up Minty probably, like, if I go pretty hardcore, I would say, like, three to five videos we'll be able to level them up. Like, no doubt, it'd be really easy to level them up that way. But let's stop the blabbering, guys. We need to go and dive right back into some more Missile Silo, baby. This has been my map. You guys already know it. I freaking love it. And I'm hoping everything works out as for, like, saving stuff. Because I've never stored these skulls. So I have no idea if this is just going to, like, break it or not. But hopefully it stays there. I can't believe we actually found our fifth one, bro. Like, we're growing our spoon collection, like, exponentially. We got our skulls growing incredibly. Like, right there is, like, $100,000. Like, no joke joke so we could get so much money out of that if we need to go and get like gun rigs like this is gonna work so freaking well but let's go and actually load this the only thing that i really dislike about the classical stock on here is i notice it kind of has some conflict of interest when you're trying to like rack your slide back it actually pulls the uh, the stock instead which has been getting a little bit in the way <gasps> but you know what i did forget oh i'm so stupid i completely forgot about going and bringing that other swat vest there was like that level two vest that we could have used that's so unfortunate. Oh my god, ow. Okay, please don't be there. Please don't be there. Please don't be there. Are you dead? Oh, I thought so. I had a feeling that he was still alive. I just... Oh, we got some more people coming. Hello. Oh my god, why are they just lighting me up? It's a freaking firefight over here. I'm gonna go check this just in case. Dude, no freaking way. Shut up. I've never had this much luck, especially with the skulls, dude. Oh, someone's like literally beside us. Okay, I just want to throw this in the backpack to get it smaller. Perfect. I seriously cannot believe we found another skull, dude. Back-to-back -back games? What are the odds on that? That's got to be like crazy odds, right? Whoever kills me is going to literally have freaking an absolute party if they get this skull, dude. No joke. Please don't be here. Please don't be here. Please don't be here. He's right to my right. Okay. I'm probably going to be getting into a player engagement here very, very soon. Screw it. I'm going. Probably a bad, bad idea. Okay. We'll jump up. Oh, someone's getting shot at. Perfect. So hopefully he'll run over here. And I'll be able to get a really easy cleanup crew here. Come on, baby. Please tell me you're not below me. You should be to my left side. Keyword should be. If anyone pushes me from here, though, I'm literally screwed from that window. Like, literally, people will just peek me and, like, shred me in a second. Unless they're below me. They can't be. Right? I'm starting to, like, starting to question myself. They might be below me. Oh, my God. I think they are. We got people vaulting, bro. You gotta be kidding, dude. What are the odds of that? Yep, we're gonna get into a pretty big fight here. You're done. Another guy here? Dude, I can't believe he found a vault key. Oh my god, I feel so bad. You're coming with me. <laughs> Get in the box. Go. <laughs> oh my god, he had a PPSH too? Oh my god, I would love to take that. Give me a minute. Oh my god. So we got a skull? We got a freaking vault freaking run here too? Oh my god. 
They're just gonna see a dead body sitting in that box. Poor souls. Only thing is, though, other players definitely heard this vault getting opened. So I don't know if I want to be here for too long. Because this is scary. Very, very scary. Kind of want his other drum make, too. Shoot. You know what? Let's just go. Let's just get it done. We might have enough time just to go. We got a suppressor on this, too. Good stuff. Ooh, dude, these scopes are worth a lot of money, too. Awesome. Man, I almost want to just get back out of the raid, because we got so much stuff in here. Ooh, some pistol fights going on. Okay, we'll come back. We'll come back. Let's go ahead and take advantage of this. We gotta go. I think that's garage fights. That's what it sounds like, at least. Okay. Yep, definitely garage. Unless they're literally pushing to this other room here. Which could also be a potential potential thing. Sounds like garage, though. Maybe below? Wait a minute. Gonna reload this. I might be completely off. I think they might actually be second level going to the big warehouse room. Maybe working their way back out of it. I'm gonna check here first. I should have probably checked garage just to be certain, but honestly, I'm gonna go with my hunch. My hunch is saying that they're below us. Screw it. I'm going for this guy. Okay. Let's wait it out. Okay, we got a lot of bots coming in. So maybe... Maybe I was tripping. I could have swore that they were over here. Dang, that's so unfortunate. I totally misread the situation. Like, totally misread it. Oh my gosh, bro. There's so many that are just spotting in. It's hard to believe. And this PP Bison's a pea shooter. Like, if it's not landing above their chest or even hitting, like, headshots. Oh my god, good luck. Holy. I was hoping it'd be a little bit stronger than this. I had a bit more hopes for you. Okay, we'll throw this grip here. Nice. How's our mag looking? Still a two tick, so we're okay on there. I feel like it should probably heal up. Ooh, we got another vest too. Good stuff. Kind of wish we would have brought more of our, uh, whatchamacallit. Oh no, I had an extra Glock. I forgot to put that back in my, back in my armory afterwards. Stupid me. Gosh dang it. Okay, we got another fight going on. Is that above? Where's he at? I'm gonna see if I can possibly get another heal out of this because this would be super, super helpful. Give me another heal. Good stuff. They shouldn't be on this level. They should be above now. I'm gonna hope to God they are. Dude, I can't believe I misread it. I could have swore it sounded like they were fighting a ton of enemies. So I instantly assumed that they were probably down in this warehouse area, but... I think they might be top garage where I was first initially thinking. Shoot, how unfortunate. Or maybe, even better, they could have maybe fought the SWAT boss. You know what I mean? Because they were pouring a ton of shots, which could have easily simulated the fact that they were fighting uh, fighting the armored guards and trying to get like their SWAT, SWAT armor and stuff. Could have been it, dude. But I have no clue, to be completely honest. No idea. I'm going to try to listen up for a minute. Just see what we can do here. How much time do we got left? 21 minutes still? Okay, so we're... We got about three-fourths of the raid still left. Let's check it out. Let's see. Because if this is looted, then we probably know. Okay, no one's in back room yet. Can we actually evac here? Nope, this is another dead evac. Where's this guy at? I'm starting to trip out, dude. I have no clue where he's at, dude. I thought he was in garage, definitely not in garage. Unless I'm just like hearing the shots wrong, like the audio just isn't lining up. But I'm starting to trip out, dude. Oh, there he is. There we go, one down. Is there another dude? He was running for his life. That poor guy, he was literally just climbing the ladder. <laughs> Couldn't make it away from there. He wasn't fighting another guy, was he? Cause that's, what, two down from me? Only two? I want to say there's only two, right? Okay, not worth his loot right now. I'm gonna go and look somewhere else. How's my mag feeling? One tick. That's a two tick. So we'll throw this one in. Okay, thank you. 
Go then to the side. And let's get ready for some other fights. Only thing is, is I wish I could have picked up his backpack and possibly got some more of the heals. Because heals would be really nice right now. But I'm starting to feel like that wasn't the only guy that was running over in this area. Like, the shots that I heard sound like a different dude. <laughs> or maybe I just got really lucky and caught him afterwards. But I have no idea. So one thing about Mr. Salad Man, it's like, it can be anyone's fight. And it gets so tense so quickly. I'm gonna check garage and go for it, bro. I can't believe we had a vault. We got player kills. Freaking a skull. What a day, dude. Honestly, if I get lit up, that person deserves the loot, bro. They deserve it. Because, man, you're going to have to put in a lot of work to go and get it. I got freaking bounties on my name. Bounties on my name. You better not be hiding, though. Because I swear to God, if I die to someone just peeking the tank, I'm going to be a sad, sad man. No one's there. Okay. Let's check this out. Dude, no way. An AK-47 here, too? What? What is the loot today, man? They are just treating me far too well. Oh, my God. Skulls. AK-47. Freaking stoner, 150 round drum mag, player kills, vault, what's next? Probably about to, to die. Okay, I don't see anyone there. I'm gonna check Squeaky. I didn't hear Squeaky initially. Looks unlooted. I think we're fresh. Good stuff. We got a helmet finally. Oh my god. I felt so naked for so long. Okay, let's just go and close that so I know I'm safe. <laughs> I feel a lot better that way. Okay, and we'll go and throw on another heal, because that would be great. We got a knife, which, I mean, we could probably sell it for a decent amount of money, right? Maybe. Whoa, 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 whoa. So knives glitch up backpacks. Okay, so maybe I should not put knives in the backpack. Can I take that back out? Oh, I mean, it's in there. <laughs> okay, so just make sure that we don't accidentally grab it again. Otherwise, our stuff is going to break, and it's not going to be good. Okay, let's throw you right Inside of the gun, I guess, because we can apparently load the peaches that way. Nice. Save some space. Only thing is, though, is, like, literally every time I go to Squeaky and use this strategy, there, there's a really big flaw in this play. Like, obviously, it's great because it gives you the time to go and loot up and not worry about someone shooting you. But then, also, you're left in a position where, basically, you, you're a mouse trapped in a, a cage with a cat. You know, like, you're basically asking to die. There we go. Oh, my gosh. I was struggling to get that freaking grip thrown on here. Each one of these goes for about $1,000, so we might as well just take them. Perfect. Oh my gosh, it's being a big pain in the butt with these ones. What do we got? A Colt 1911? Okay, I see you. I see you. And what else do we got? Nothing in that. What about ammunition? Looks like we got some 9x18, which we can probably just store right on the back, right? There we go. All right. And do we have anything else in this? Or did we grab everything? No luck for GPUs, though. That is very unfortunate. I was hoping to maybe get... Ooh. Okay, that sounds like a bot that just spawned. We should be clear. Let's go and peek it. Let's do it. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here, boys. You shouldn't be able to see me from this angle, and I'll just light him up. Or I'll literally get lit up because I suck. Dude, this guy had an AK-47 as well? Oh my god, you gotta be joking. Okay, so I'm gonna go and push this other fight. Steal that AK-47 and grab the other one. Or maybe even go to the vault. Because we, we haven't grabbed all the stuff from the vault yet either. Let's wait for him to make his rotation back. And then we'll just go and peek this. There we go. Good stuff. I'm gonna run my way back to the vault. And then I want to save those AK-47s, dude, if possible. Throw this extra mag in. So we have full ammunition before we go and push this. Just in case we have someone that wants to come and peek us in the, the weakest moments that we have. Okay, we should be alright there. I don't know if anyone ran into that opposite room. You know, like the one that's outdoors? I didn't see it like looted. So we could also check that too before we're done with this. Okay. Dude, we got so much stuff on us. Honestly, I need to just not get greedy. Because the more greedy we get, the more likely that we're going to end up dying in this fight. You know what I mean? What do we have? We got just a Picatinny adapter rail. I'll just leave that stuff in there for now. Just don't want to worry about it. What the? Okay, the gun's possessed. I got it. Got it. Um, can I grab it? I want it. Oh, it's a possessed gun! 
Does it shoot? <laughs> you can shoot it while it's spinning. Oh my god, okay, this is what I'll do. This will fix it. Yes! Okay, so now we got an AK-47 with suppressor on it, but... But honestly, I don't really need the suppressor on the AK-47. Let's go and throw this into my backpack, because I would like it here. Okay. We got the drum mag, which we'll go and save this too. I completely forgot about all this stuff in here. God, thank God we came back. So we'll leave the PP Bison for now. We got another PP Bison. Talk about the luck. And then we got some goulash. Okay, I see you, dude. I see you. I might as well go and steal this goulash. That'd be a good ad. Um, we got this little grip, which we should be able to fit right on this side. Nice. We got another grip, which we should be able to fit on this side. We got some more goulash. Oh my God. We're getting... We're, we're gonna be feasting tonight. Holy crap. And a MP9 is what it looks like. Okay, so only thing is about this MP9 is will I be able to condense the stock enough to actually store this thing? Um, we'll take the mag out and hopefully this will be enough to throw this in, right? Okay, seems good. Perfect. And then we might be able to throw the mag in afterwards. No, no shot. Don't think we're gonna have any luck with that. We will take this other PP Bison though. Take the mag, and we will throw you right into... Let's see, actually, you know what? I feel like we'd get more money off the PP Bison than we would with the the AKs, right? Or am I crazy? Okay, so we still got 12 minutes. I think I might do some organization here. Because we might be able to fit this PP Bison in this. Let's see. We'll take the skull out for now. Take the mag out. Take the MP9 out. Take these mags off. I might be able to fit the condensed PP Bison... If I do this right, I might be able to fit it right in here. I know I can do it. I have faith. Okay, perfect. And then where's my other PP Bison? I can maybe fit both of them in here. We got this one in. Only thing is with the suppressor attached. But if it lets me do it, we might be in the clear. Ha <laughs> yes! And then we can put the MP9 like this. Nice. And then we'll take this mag, throw it in the... Oh, wait, but then the skull's not going to fit, right? This is going to be tough. I might have to move the MP9 for now. Wait, did I just merge those two together? Wait a second, this might work. That literally gave me enough space when I merged those together. No freaking way. Okay, and then MP9. Come on. Nice! <laughs> this is totally going to work, man. Let's go. And then maybe PP Bison Meg. We can stick on the back. Nice. Oh my god, we are tetris the crap out of this, and I love it. We literally got so many weapons in here. This is perfect. You can't ask for anything better than this. Okay. Nice. Ah, oh, dude, the amount of loot that is left over here, man. This is just... This is just way too freaking perfect. And then I can actually grab some extra weapons to bring out of the fight, too. So we literally got three inside of the actual... Oh, whoops. We got three inside of this actual freaking backpack. And then not to mention the ones that we can carry along. We got the Dragunov. AS Val's over here too, which we can go and save this. I think it's AS Val. Or I think someone else was saying there was a different name for this one since it has the wooden stock. I can't remember what it was, but I remember someone mentioned it before. Um, okay, so we got this. We got our weapons. We got an extra vest if we wanted to keep it. Dude, I think I might just go with what I got and then maybe steal another AK. I mean, I'm not too sure though. I mean, we could just take that other vest. Screw it, dude. I think I'm gonna take the vest, and then make our way out of here. Because this might be worth a good amount of money. I can't remember how much it was, but I think it's decent. Um, or the PPSH. Okay. PPSH, I know you're a beautiful weapon, and I want you. Okay, you're joining the fight. You're joining the fight for now. We got the PP Bisons. It's like, it's the PP gang. You know what I mean? It's like, it's literally setting us up for this. It's too good. Too good to be true. The only thing is, though, is where would a successful evac spot be? Because I don't know if we have any spots nearby that we're able to go to. I didn't check garage or look like thoroughly enough to actually see if it had one in there. So I'm kind of nervous. Ooh, wait a minute. That is player loot. What is player loot doing here? Okay, well, that's not good. I'm going to see if we can evac here. Let's hope to God that we can. If we can't... Then we might have to go down to the second level on B and hope that we can do it there. Let's pray to God, man. We got so much stuff. Oh, come on. How much time do we got left? Let's check it. Nine minutes? Okay. We got plenty of time. Honestly, I kind of wanted to get some more AI kills, but in the same way, 
Dude, we have so much stuff on us. It's gonna be better off just to take this back to our base and like reassess all of our things and then come back when, you know, when we're a little bit more fresh and don't have as much, you know, loot to lose. Because this is just, this is fantastic. I could go and check for more, but I just, I don't want to get greedy before we leave because who knows, we might get into a pretty, pretty hefty fight here for all that we know. At least we got a helmet though. Now we can play a little bit, a little bit more risque. Please, 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 please. If you're going to be over here, just let me shred you in a second with the PP. We got the other vest, too. Okay. Just check it out. I think we're good. I think we're in the clear. Let's do this thing. It is evac in time. Holy crap, boys. What a freaking day for raiding. This PP box has been amazing to us. We managed to get, what was it, two, two ghost kills? So not a ton of ghost kills, but we got a lot of Fenix. We got crazy weapons. We got vault loot. Dude, we got two skulls back to back. What are the odds of that, bro? That's gotta be so stupidly rare. And the fact that we got that caught on a live recording, that is so sick. And not to mention, we got another PPSH. Like, come on, bro. There we go, beautiful. And we will go and stick you right about here if I can. Nice. I'm gonna put the dragon up on the wall just to make sure that we don't lose that. And we gotta get that knife and stuff out of my backpack because that is gonna break literally everything. So I'm gonna grab the skull first just to make sure we can actually save this and let's see. It did stack. Nice. We didn't lose it. I was so afraid that we're gonna lose that other skull. Okay, that should be good. And then I wanna make sure it doesn't move. Okay, so it is stuck in there, which is awesome. Um, I wanna get rid of all of my other crap before we get rid of the knife. Because I feel like if I grab the knife, my backpack's gonna do like that crazy thing and just kind of like fly all around the map. So <laughs> I wanna just be a little bit chill with that for now. We'll go and throw a stoner mag right over here. Nice. And we got so many weapons, dude. The MP9, holy welcome to the squad. It is nice to have you. We got our other PP Bison, which if we can, can we throw it on the bottom? Nice. We'll throw our other PP Bison right on the bottom too. Yes! Okay, we got the other PP Bison set up, and then we got, oh my gosh, so many freaking weapons, dude. Okay, so let's think here. I had the 1911, one PP Bison, uh, MP9, PPSH, Glock, we got whatever this gun is, and then we got the Dragunov, and dude, that's like six or seven weapons that we pulled out of that fight, bro. Oh my god. We got so much stuff out of this. That was such a good raid. Honestly, for our last one of the day, I am more than happy to have that be for this video, bro. Like, this, this couldn't have gone any better. Um, we got some other heals, so let's throw that on the pyramid of freaking heals that we got over here. Nice. Go and throw that on there. And as for magazines, I feel like I can just go and get rid of all the other ones. I really won't use any of these. So let's just chuck these right onto our conveyor belt. Is there any other mags that I potentially grab? AK-47 one. Okay. Then we got some food and other attachments. Awesome. So we'll just go and sell all this stuff right to our vendors. And let's go and assort our other food because we got more goulash, which I have not seen goulash in so long. Holy crap, dude. So let's go and put our goulash right back here. Nice. And we will start our little goulash collection. This is great. What a great day to be alive, man. I am so happy with the way everything's gone today. Like, this is awesome. And wait a minute. This is different. This is peaches. There's different things. There's fruit cocktail and peaches. Okay. Well, the more you know. I bet the peaches are more rare. Uh huh. And then with the last of our crap that we got, let's go and throw this all on our assortment board that we got. This is gonna be a freaking mess because we got so many of these items, dude. Like, I don't even know how much money this haul was, but it is an incredible amount. Like, this is just, this is wild. Honestly, out of all the raids I've done, this is probably my biggest pull that I've had in a very long time. We got the skulls, the attachments, the weapons. All together, we probably pulled well over $100,000 worth of items. Like, no joke, I think we did. And that should be everything out of our backpacks, man. Holy crap, dude. The amount of attachments, the gear, the, the skulls, the back-to-back -back skulls, by the way. Like, what are the odds of being able to pull that? In two raids on Missile Silo 2, man. Like, what? That was so freaking lucky. Like, what a crazy episode that we had here, guys. The amount of weapons that we pulled from the vault. Freaking player kills that we got. The amount of Fennecs that we took down with the PP Bison. Like, dude, this couldn't have gone any better than, like, any of the episodes, bro. Like, that was amazing. And for the first time using the PP Bison, I am more than happy with the way this all played out. Like, this... This is exactly what I was asking for. If you guys did end up enjoying this video and would like to see more content made on Ghost of Tabor, then be sure to smash that motherfucking thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new so you guys can stay up to date with all the VR content we post. 
And guys, I just want to say, holy crap, is our gun locker looking nutty. Like, we have so many weapons, whether it be just like the, the miscellaneous pistols that we've been picking up. We got AK Center for Use, a Thompson, freaking Galil, we got a Bar, PPSH, dude, MAC-10 somewhere in here, MP40, AS Vals, AUGs. Dude, there is so many weapons that we have, and like, the amount of money that we can make from this is seriously nuts, bro. Like, this... This almost feels like it's illegal. Like, I, I probably have an illegal gun collection in here, and this this isn't right. But this is turning out so awesome. So this wall, for the most part, like, a lot of the weapons that I collect, um, I'm just going to go and get rid of and eventually sell. But on this wall, I'm actually saving up a lot of the magazines that I've been finding throughout fights, and just even a lot of the raids I've been going and queuing up for. And I'm just saving them. For whenever I do decide to go and build, like, a crazy rig, I'll be able to have a bunch of ammo to support it, and not have to go and rely on the store to go and buy mags. So I feel like this is gonna be the very thing that actually sets me up for like the next wipes and just being ready to actually use the items I get from raids and apply that to a lot of my my battles that I do because one of the biggest problems that I've noticed and I'm sure a lot of you guys have also noticed in these videos is whenever I'm covering these new weapons I've just been doing it based on buying it from the shop and then buying mags from the shop and whatever else but for the future like moving forward I definitely want to try my best to actually like collect these weapons and use them natively from what I earn in the raids instead of spending the money that I get like obviously here and there I don't see any problem going and buying you know a, a certain gun rig and like getting like crazy attachments and whatever but for the most part it's like if I take a weapon that I claim from a raid bring that to a fight and I lose it it's not as much of a sting as it is if I went and spent sixty to a hundred thousand dollars building something and then losing that you know like i just feel like it's gonna be a lot better off if i can really base off of the items that i have because obviously we have a freaking warehouse full of things to be used and i just i need to take more advantage of that and i think especially with like the next wipes and stuff that's gonna be something you guys are gonna be seeing a lot more is me just being a lot more conservative or not even conservative but more or less um utilizing a lot of the stuff that we find within our raids but anyways ladies and gentlemen that's gonna be it for me hope you enjoyed the video and as always Keep it toasty, my friends. Laters. I got some shells for you, boy. Oh, it's in his eye. Oh, I fixed it. I would have no. died. Well, no, right no. here. No. <laughs> <laughs> Armageddon. Oh, yeah. yeah. Why in the heck do you not have clothes? You took my banana, and now you must suffer the consequences.